Virginity is a social construct that has nothing to do with biology. It's often framed around the hymen, and the hymen has nothing to do with the penis. The hymen is a membranous fold that partially or wholly occludes the vaginal opening, and it's there from birth to actually protect the infant vagina from irritation, from uh, dirt, debris, and urine and feces. When we're born, we're incontinence of urine and stool, and if that got in the infant vagina, it would be incredibly irritating and cause problems. And so evolution's answer is to have a protective fold there to protect the vagina from urine and feces. And as we become continent, guess what? Around the age of two, three, four, that's when the hymen starts to take on other types of shapes because it doesn't matter anymore. So the hymen is like baby teeth, there for a period of time, and then not there anymore, and it has nothing to do with virginity. If the hymen has nothing to do with sex or the penis, then why do women bleed the first time they have sex? Well, it's a good question, and in fact, most women don't bleed the first time they have sex with a penis. Only about a third do. The causes include the hymen. If it's a little bit tighter, it can be disrupted. And some women have a thicker hymen, or a hymen that covers more of the vaginal opening, and obviously then there's a greater chance of tissue trauma and bleeding. But for many women, the cause of bleeding can actually be from abrasions on the vaginal mucosa, and that happens with increased friction. Often when there isn't enough lubrication, that can be a cause, maybe if you're nervous, or if foreplay was just twist a nipple and stick it in, that doesn't do it for most people. Also vaginismus, that's a condition where the muscles around the vagina are tighter, and that causes more friction and pain with insertion, and that can cause abrasions. And finally, there's rape, sexual trauma. So most of the time there isn't bleeding, and when there is, there can be causes other than the hymen.